<laughs> I have always known exactly what I'm worth. One million dollars. Two million. Three million. Three million two hundred and forty-five thousand. That's how much I had to pay to keep you. And you are worth it. You're worth all of it. <laughs> you know what that means, right? Means you get to stay here. Means you don't have to go to your mom's. Means I get to see you every day. Airplanes? We can do airplanes. We can build any airplane you want. Because I'm not going to work today. Or ever. It's Christmas and we're gonna do airplanes and we're gonna make them fly. <laughs> $3,245,000. That's what he paid my mom for sole custody after the divorce. What I didn't know was he only divorced her. He didn't divorce the office. What do you mean he backed out of the deal? He doesn't get to back out of the deal. He needs to deliver 500,000 novelty armadillos before New Year's or I'll see him in court from now until July. Oh, he wants to talk sphincter molds, does he? I'll tell him about sphincter molds. You tell him that I've been doing sphincter molds since before he was born. What can I say? You can't divorce your mistress. June! Stop playing with that stuff. The semester starts today. What? No, it's just my kid and her danged airplanes. I actually thought three million meant he really loved me. Now I think he was just a bad negotiator. Here's another thing I'm sure of. Nothing I do here matters at all. My dad's got a dozen companies, and the instant I get a diploma, he's gonna stick me in a corner office somewhere with a thick salary, and that's that. I'll never have to worry about a thing. Not. A. Thing. Hey, uh, I really need that back. Angle of incidence. Excuse me? Well, this is an old Wright Brothers box glider, right? Mm -hmm. They used to call it angle of incidence, but today it's called- Angle of attack, yes, I'm aware. Um, could you just give that back, please? See, if you go over that, the wing loses lift. You get loss of airflow over the wing, which would lead directly to an abrupt loss of altitude. Okay, look, then... I'm very impressed that you read further than I did. That's, that's awesome. Uh, but that's due in two minutes. You so know could this I... could go a lot farther, right? I mean, you've really compromised your lift here, but... Look, I don't need it to go farther. I just need it to go 30 feet. Just one little tweak uh, to the no, wing, no messing could... with it. That is due. But it could be so much better. Look, whoever you are, I don't care. Okay? It's just a grade. I don't need to go round the world. Just need it to pass. But it's an airplane. It's just a grade. Oh, come on, what are you, seven? I gotta get that turned in. And look, if you wanna take one home to daddy and play there, that's fine, but that one is not a toy. No, no, come on, uh, no, no, co come on, please do not, uh, no, what are you doing? You better go get that, it's due. This your project? Get an A. You know how some people are like car problems or annoying relatives? They just keep turning up. You are applying arbitrary standards to get your favored result, knowing full well that comparable risks are tolerated all the time. And you are ignoring the fact that risk is cumulative and will add up to unacceptable levels within that time frame. While you seem to believe that the organization can only do one thing right. And you do not understand that it is a question of priorities. And those are clearly spelled out in the- Time! Enough about the seating chart. Let's move on to the actual debate. 
But then one day, one wonderful day, you move on. And you'll never, ever, ever have to deal with that arrogant, stuck-up, selfish jerk again. Is not a five syllable word. So, <clears throat> business? Really? Business major. That's just kind of surprising. Didn't know I had to get your approval for it. Like business? I mean, really? I mean, I, I would have figured you for aeronautics. Figuring wrong seems to be a habit of yours. Not just aeronautics, though, like valedictorian. I mean, or at least with the honors, right? I mean, right? Like, even the guy that forgot his hat can see that you are way too smart for business. Is this your warped way of giving me a compliment? Is this your warped way of receiving one? Fine. Let's just say it. You're bone-chillingly smart. And I did not think for a moment that it would be for business. <sighs> Explain to me why it's your expectations I should meet. Well, then whose expectations are you meeting? Because if it's not your own either, then come on. You're just coasting like an F-16 being used as a glider. Are you having some sleepless nights? Thinking about all the places you won't be employed? Excuse me? Broadcast. You majored in broadcast. Not tech, not new media, broadcast. With honors. Well, my apologies on behalf of those of us who have an actual plan. Broadcast. Like big antennas on mountains and endless reruns of Lawrence Welk. In the age of streaming, really? Were newspapers not hopeless enough for you? Oh, what? You're saying you've never watched TV before? Honestly, no. Growing up, there was a big screen in every room of the house, all streaming. That's not even the future. That's the recent past. I mean, what do you think you're going to do? Zoom Walter Cronkite? <laughs> you know, some of us have actual ideas. Yeah, and some of us have actual earnings. Go ahead, say what you want. I've had a job since day one. What do you got lined up? I've got uh, resumes out. <laughs> lined up? Well, that's lovely. You can make the world a better place by being unemployed. With honors. <sighs> well, wherever I end up, I'll be flying. You'll just be coasting. What? I'm not coming in tomorrow, Dad. You can't take vacation now. It's not a vacation. I quit. You what now? Quit. Quit. Q-U-I-T. Look it up in the dictionary. Quit is not in our family vocabulary. Yeah, well, maybe you should learn a new language. Tell me straight. Is this about money? Because if it is, good deal. We can just add another zero to you. Dad, your it's really not. Your mom. Your mom's been talking to you. <sighs> Mom hasn't given me anything other than postcards in the last 15 years, and you know it. Private jet. I'll get you the key. And Dad, I don't want anything from you. I just want to fly instead of coasting, OK? OK. We're good on this, right? 
I mean, we're we're good. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, so, you got another job? Uh yeah, yeah, Beachwood and Haggle, mid-sized investment place. I'll be doing the client outreach thing. Great. Good for you and all that. I know you'll do great. Yeah. I have good news. I just sold the company. You're getting a promotion. A big one. I resign. Kids. Hi, Mr. Kelgood. I'm calling about the client-facing job. Wondering if it's still available. Keeper's Crow, Dad. Hey, now, we made a lot of people happy today. Yeah? Well, you sure didn't make me happy. Well, maybe that's your own fault. You ever think about that? Just don't. I am not the one with the problem here. You are the one with the problem. I'm also the one who's employed. And there's no reason you couldn't be, too. Don't you dare! Don't I dare what? Don't you dare try and keep this up. I will outlast you. I will find something. Where? We can never be bought. That's right, folks. Nobody owns us. No one can buy us. We only answer to viewers like you. Our city's only public television station since 1969. Always independent, right from the start. We'll always give you our best, because you've always given us your best. Viewers like you. Sweetheart, where? Just you try and find out. Wait, what? Child. Sorry. Oh, really? What, sorry. What is it you want? Um, well, hi. I'm June Droder. I called ahead and left a message. Uh, well, don't come in with the garbage girl. Go around front like a human being. Well, I tried, but it was a lot.
Hello? Hello, are you in there now? Who shall I say is calling? <laughs> it's me, June Schroeder. We literally just met around the back. <sighs> Finally. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Like I said, I, I called ahead and left a message. If all you need is the pleasure of talking to our answering service, you can do that at any time. No appointment necessary. I just want to talk to someone in charge. Whom shall I say is calling? Look, you can stop playing games with me now. I've had a look around this place. It is anything but busy, okay? But you know, <laughs> it sure looked to me like you were digging up something out back that you maybe weren't supposed to have. So I will get through to someone in charge sooner or later. Might as well make it sooner while I'm more willing to keep quiet about certain things, huh? Well, you got through sooner than you thought. That's right, I'm in charge. First the head of the board left, then the board, then the general manager, and then the station manager. And who do you think they dumped all their decisions on? Don't even think about trying to play games with me, kiddo. So, you, you admit you could really use some help then? You wanna know why my checkbook's staying shut? You never argue. Well, you know, most places, Mr. Leach, wouldn't consider that very... I've got all the help I can stand. What just got into you? Hold it, wait a minute. How do you think we handle things on the set of the Woking Mysteries? Arguments, that's how. We weren't afraid to argue. Yeah, I, I heard how things went down on that set. Stuff of legend, am I right? Yeah, like Mount Vesuvius. It, keeping things peaceful here, Mr. Leach. I... Well, look who still can't close a deal. What are you doing here? What is she doing here? So tell me, are you actively saying the wrong things, or are you just forgetting to say the right ones? Like how this station is number 42 in the national market, and that's pretty good for out of 300-something affiliates. You know, I led with that little detail. Thank you. Well, there's your problem. Anyone can lead with something generic. What are you gonna come up with that means something to him? I did my homework, okay? Well, he had a series. I know I heard that much. Don't suppose you were planning on acknowledging that? Actually, as a matter of fact, I have three charts on it, right here. Old news, old news. What are you gonna come up with that's new? What's the new demo on the streaming site? What's the new rebrand on the compilation series? I mean, is he really thinking about these things? Or is it all just welcome to the 90s again? Claire, what is she doing here? Don't mind me, I'm just signing this enormous check. Well, not too enormous. Just a little something, a little pledge for the month. See, now I know. You people give a darn. Well, thank you, Mr. Leach. I... I'll be seeing a lot more of you around here, right? <laughs> so now let's go shoot. <laughs> <sighs> Clear? What's going on here? Job interview. So, if I hire her, what am I getting? I'm right here. <laughs> He's your reference. Well? I guarantee you that she doesn't understand the first thing about working in broadcast. Aside from maybe what she Googled last night. Well, six months ago, all I knew how to do was scheduling. Anything else? She's a royal pill. Observed. And anything else? <sighs> She's smart. She's real smart. That we can work with. This can keep us going for another week, including her salary. Want to stick around? Get more pledges. <sighs> so. So. 
so Ugh. this is where you ended up. Do you always give people grief for saving your workplace? <laughs> is it too much to hope that you actually did Google something about working a broadcast last night, or? Look, didn't I just hear that guy say you have a shoot? Yes. Hmm. Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, since you work here now, you should come sit in on it, newbie. Hello, movie lovers everywhere. I'm Carrie Leach, star of The Reverend Woking Mysteries, and your host for this edition of Weekend Classics. Tonight's movie stars the infamous Charlie Chaplin. A giant of the silent screen, he almost made it in talkies before leaving the U.S. to take over Germany and start World War II. It wasn't long before his next picture, the Scarlet Empress inadvertently helped launch the Red Scare in his native U.S. of A. How you feeling? My brain hurts. This, this cannot be your business model. Just let him spout nonsense introducing old movies so he'll, he'll make a donation every once in a while? Uh, not donations. Pledges. We call them pledges. Ew, don't say pledge. That gives me sorority flashbacks. Well, <clears throat> that's what we got going on for now. Unless you know somebody with some really deep pockets. Um, let's just say no to that. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. So, one week to get him to open his checkbook again. It's not our only deadline, but... Yeah. And the only two things he cares about are being on screen and watching us fight. And one of which he already has by default. Yeah. So, we gonna fight? Just try and keep up. <laughs> yeah, remember to tell yourself that. Broadcast. Point me to it. You mean like streaming? Let's get our foreign programming converted over to NTSB. Resolution 16 by 9 and 1920 by 24P. Wow. Yeah, just gotta say, none of what you just said made any sense at all. Uh, wait, so you're telling me that you tried to learn about modern electronics in a printed volume? What's wrong with a book? Well, lots of books. Uh, you didn't even start with Google? Come on. Would you look at this stuff? It's old. Okay, but it's not that old. It's just specialized. Like, really specialized. Uh, honestly, I'm not even sure if you could find what you're looking for on Google. Are you saying the exact thing you just suggested would not have even worked? Uh, what I'm saying is it's a craft, you know? It's its own craft. And I spent four years learning this stuff in college, and you thought that you were gonna cram it all in in an all-nighter. Some of us like to get a head start, okay? Whatever, let's just start now. Okay, so, live switching. Yes, live switching, I remember that. Yeah, so I bet you're looking for a great big switch, right? Yeah. <clears throat> of course. <laughs> 
mouse clicks. Because mm -hmm. everything's a computer now. Yeah, okay. even airplanes are great big computers now. <laughs> now you're just being mean. <laughs> No way. Yes. Yes, you did. You missed that cue. Oh, because you miscued me. <sighs> I did miscue you once, but it was not that time. Right, so if I can't trust your cues, I have to figure them out on my own. You're getting hung up on one cue? You said so yourself. There's no second takes when you're live. Hey, lovebirds. We've got Miles Gloriosus back in an hour. Get ready for showtime. <sighs> showtime. Hmm. Well, what can we come up with? You're seriously trying to tell me that you want to do a zoom to medium close up in the middle of camera two? Yes, yes, it's perfect. Read the script. It's the exact right moment. I've read the script. And no, you still understand nothing about screen grammar. Oh, please, to heck with the screen grammar. Ride the freaking moment. What do you mean, ride the moment? I There's mean, a formula. Ride you the follow it. The oh. screen grammar is important. Okay, well, I, I don't mean, know why. I've been doing this way longer oh. than you. So Here we I go again with that. Goes. Okay, let's not forget. You wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, <laughs> a little low. I am telling you, she is not at Hagel's anymore. Now, I know somebody in this town knows where she's working. You stop putting me off. Don't give me that wouldn't hire her crap. They'd be idiots not to hire her. They'd all be idiots, and they're even bigger idiots if they think they can hide her beneath a bushel. Now, do you have some more news for me, or do you not? Yeah, that's what I thought. Enjoy the coal in your stocking. And that wraps up our showing of one of the most holly jolliest movies of all time. Doesn't it just warm your heart, folks? I watch that one, and I just want to go to sleep smiling every time. <laughs> we'll be back next week with another holly jolly hour that will bring your whole family together once more. I would like to thank everyone here at KPRP for making this possible, including Claire Rubin, our everything that needs done, she does it person. And we got uh, Declan Rayard in our producer. I'll give you something to be thankful for, you holly jolly son. New on the team, June Schroeder. <laughs> oh, it's a most wonderful time of the year, folks. What are you grateful for? KPRP Public Television, how can Is I... Is this how you treat all your important calls? Excuse me? Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Nobody's any better these days. Just give me the man in charge. The what? The man in charge. You think I got all day to fuel your office gossip? Whom shall I say is calling? John Schroeder. Yeah, that's right. The John Schroeder. Schroeder? Yeah. I bet you regret dragging your feet now, don't you? Well, never mind. Just give me the man in charge and we can forget your little fit ever happened. One moment, please, sir. June! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> so you do know him. How did he find out I'm working here? You told him. Hey, I don't even know the guy. Ugh. Family? He's my dad. <laughs> your dad? The John Schroeder is your dad. Oh, so now you know him? Well, we know of him. He's kind of famous. <sighs> guy like that, he could make all of our problems disappear with one pledge. <laughs> He's not calling to pledge. He's calling to buy. Buy what? Everything. 
Everything, it, it doesn't matter. The station, everything in it, you, me, him. And he does realize that's not something that can actually happen, right? That's true. That's true, that, that can't actually happen, right, Claire? P please tell me that can't actually happen. No, no, it can't. Charter's not set up that way. Although, he could push for a few things in exchange for a large enough pledge. But even then, there would be pushback. He's not gonna settle for less than everything. So you're saying there's no point in making nice with him and hoping he'll pledge? Pity. Just, please don't make me talk to him. <sighs> what? <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah. Stress ball? No. Yes. Hello, and thank you for calling the voice activated answering service for KPRP Public Television. Please state the name of the person you wish to call. You want me to what? I'm sorry, I don't understand that command. Please state the name of the person you wish to call. Just get me the front desk. I'm sorry, I don't understand that command. Please state the name of the person you wish to call. Front desk. I'm sorry, I don't understand that command. Please state the name of- Front desk! Front desk already! Front desk! At the sound of the tone, the time will be 10 minutes past the hour. Finally, something diff- Wait, what? Would you like to take this brief survey? Mm, no! Don't do this to me! It's been years since I've been in phone tree purgatory. You've just qualified for an exciting offer. Front desk, you stupid, miserable piece of silicon trash! What's so hard about that? Just get me the stupid, stinking front desk! Have you considered switching wireless carriers? Ah! Front desk! Front desk! If you don't give me the front desk, I will leave you for hobos on Skid Row! Please enter the last four digits of your social ah! security number. Ah! Just get lost, you stupid, stinking pile of transistors! Just get lost and, and goodbye! Goodbye, and get lost too. Yeah. All right, Miss Radio Voice, show your darn face before I waylay your boss on his way home. Whom shall I say is calling? You know who's here. I told you once, I told you twice, and I ain't gonna tell you a darn thing ever again. Well, thank goodness for that. Have a good day, sir. Wait, what? No, hold on. Hold on, get back on here. You miserable little minimum wage. Excuse me. Claire, sweetie, guess who? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going, beautiful? This is a closed set. <laughs> yeah, you try and talk smart to me after I get a signature on these. Oh, <laughs> those. Well, of course. Always have time for my fans, even the noisy ones. <laughs> and remember, if you're gonna scout these, don't settle for less than a grand. Hello, darling. Hello. You look ravishing today. Well, thank you. <laughs> How are you, you charmer? <laughs> We're late. We're late again, and I am not the reason. Um, yes, you are, and you're not about to pin this on me, okay? <laughs> All right. Pardon me, Mr. Leach. Declan here was just having some technical difficulties at his workstation. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Leach, but it seems that June here has forgotten how to format a shooting script, oh. which, as you know, is very important for her job. <laughs> okay, well, pardon me, Mr. Leach. Declan has forgotten how to stick to a call time. Shall we head for makeup? By which I mean make up for his delays. What she is saying is absolutely false. I've never Don't missed a call time, Mr. Leach. But come with go. us. Okay. You, Sorry, Claire. I understand that call times are of the utmost call importance. Time treating you is like a star very is important, what really as you well matters. know from your
We got another one of those. I mean, he doesn't honestly think that the Wizard of Oz switched to color because they ran out of black and white film, does he? Honestly, who can say? Uh, oh, give me that. I mean, we didn't always do this, right? Just give some loud mouth a permanent platform to spout lunacy from? <laughs> because if I wanted that, I could just call home. No. No, this place used to have a rep. Good one. <sighs> Award-winning programs, valuable community institutions, all that. You can't tell from looking around today, dumped all the archives just before I got here. So. All of them? What are those? Legacy. We made that? We used to. Every year. One Christmas spectacular was all we needed, and then we'd get in enough pledges for the next 12 months. Local history, local politics, documentaries, the stuff that made a difference. Why'd you stop? The board wanted to go edgy, thought these fancy concerts were too expensive, wanted to cut it to the bone and do more with less. Instead, we ended up doing less with less, and now we're doing next to nothing. So where's the board now? Where do you think? Bailed once they realized how badly they'd screwed up, and believe me, nobody was volunteering to replace them. Well, let's do one of these again. <laughs> oh, come on. How hard can it be? How hard can it be? How hard can it be, she says. Sweetie, we earned those 12 months every single time. Do you have any idea what it takes to stage a show like that? No. So tell me. My word. Multiple cameras, live switching on location, music clearances. Kept the lawyers busy for weeks. Plus, it looks like we always had a star name to host the show. That's right, star power. Or the closest thing to it at this level. Mayor, some big news anchor, somebody. And who is going to give us the time of day now? Plus, we don't have much time to work with anyway. Christmas is practically here. So let's do it next Christmas. No. There is no next year. We've got a mortgage on this dump. And we have burned through every trick for putting it off. Either we come up with a huge chunk of change by New Year's, or we go dark for the first time in five decades. New Year's? That's a hard deadline? As hard as they come. Do you two want to be employed after the balloon drop? Get that man. Pledge. New Year's. Yeah. You got any bright ideas? Well, he's already paying this much to see a squabble, right? Let's kick it up a notch. 
kick it up. Play for blood. So far, we've been pretty nice. I don't think we've been very nice. There are definitely places you could have gone and you didn't, because you're nice. Face it, nice just won't do it anymore. Well, June, I, I, I just don't think it's a very good idea. Daddy issues. Hit me with those. You'll have material for days. Okay, come on, now give me something I can work June, with. June, seriously? I Declan, don't think you've it's... seen what I go back to if I can't stay here. If you can't do it for the station, then do it for me. Open the door, I got your heart's desire. You brought George Clooney. Oh, wait, no, I... I bring you nectar and ambrosia. That's a terrible name for a rock band. I bring you the glorious wines of nature. If those weren't metaphorical, you might have stood a chance. Wait, I, I would? Ah! Clean up on Isle of Five. What in the world was that? <gasps> you hog! It's not even nine o'clock in the morning. You get off this property. Get, 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 get! Oh, Carrie dear, I'm so sorry about oh, that. Oh, no worries. I know this is a good neighborhood. Well, usually. So? So. That's your idea. You can feel free to start praising it at any time. We've got our biggest name talent sitting right over there. And you want to shoot him like a 90s talk show. Yeah. That was a great era of television. That was almost older than you are. Who was going to watch that? Oh, I don't know. Everyone? This is television. There is no everyone. What group? Which age? Kids, parents, grandparents, everyone in between. Okay, people crave this stuff. Families don't watch things together anymore. What century are you from? They can, they can, and they do. Name one, name one family. I'll give you one family, mine. Yeah, one weird family. <laughs> yeah, we were weird, all right. Me, mom, and that jar of ashes on the mantle that used to be dad. Car accident, in case you were wondering. Oh, I was four, by the way. And mom had to keep working. So, the time that we spent together was mostly watching KPRP kids programs early in the morning. It's what we did together most. So yeah, we watched it. And lots of us still would. Don't you dare think otherwise. Come on, <laughs> don't let them win. What if I said you were lucky? <laughs> lucky? Lucky. At least your mom cared about you. At least she didn't leave. She left every single day. And came back. Not everyone's does. So what do you think of that, huh? What have we got for kids like that? Uh, June, your dad stuck around. Yeah, sure, he stuck around. At least his face did. His brain, gone. Always somewhere else. At the office, around the globe, just gone. At least when your mom was with you, she was present. Don't you dare start making comparisons, okay? At least your dad is alive. I would have swapped, you get that? There are times I would have swapped. At least you know your dad didn't want to leave you. June, you... Say it. Whatever it is, just say it. Say it. 
saying it. If you were like this all the time, I can definitely see why. June. What did you say? What did you say? I was seven. Seven. What seven-year-old deserves that? To have her mom walk out and her dad check out? And it never stopped. Not in middle school, not in high school, not even graduating with frickin' honors. Not for one second was I ever more important than a line on a spreadsheet. And you wanna know the worst part? He paid to keep me, so I felt like I owed him. Like it was some kind of debt I had to pay back. You think student loans are bad? Try having to pay back a debt like that. So don't you try and tell me that I had it any better than you. I'm sorry your dad is gone. I really am. But at least he didn't hang around making whatever problems you had worse. What a scene. <laughs> what a scene. I don't have a check big enough for that one. I'm serious. I don't have a check big enough. I need to go talk to some people. Too much. Nah, that's not too much. Now just give me a few days. A few days. No more. And you'll be hearing from everyone. Everyone. Oh, and this time, don't forget what a shooting script is, huh? <laughs> Whew. Julie, hey, are you okay? Look, I, I know what I said was just no, kind of... I'm fine. I'm really... I'm fine. Just, we got it, right? Come on, please tell me we got it. We got it. <laughs> Excuse me, I think your Uber is elsewhere. You are a callous, rude, mean little excuse for a thespian. Oh, I've had some bad reviews before, but that was a little over the top, don't you think? You think this is Hollywood, huh? You think you can just walk away from anything because, because you're the big shot star? There's no stunt double out here. There's no one to take the fall for you. Can you cry on cue? Huh? Can you cry on cue? Yes! Yes! Good! Because if you ever make my little girl cry again, you're not only going to cry on cue, you're going to cry off cue, and for the entire running time, you fourth rate, Z grade, certified farm fresh organic actor! I felt it. I really felt it. I did it! You did what? Um... You did what? I can't believe this! Just when I thought you'd finally run out of ways to royally screw up my life, you, you go and invent a totally new one! Hey, I'm just trying to help. Trying and failing? Do you get that last part, Dad? Failing! Look around and listen for once in your life. Do I seem any happier when you pull this stupid stuff? Well, maybe if you learned a little gratitude. Gratitude for what? You think I was grateful for every day you spent screaming on the phone instead of being with me? Because whoever was on the other end of the line was always more important than me? Hey, I paid three million dollars for you. Shut up about the three million dollars, Dad. You made that back in a month. You could have retired 15 years ago, and you didn't, because nothing is as important to you as thinking that the sun doesn't rise unless you crow at it. I gave you everything I could. <laughs> yeah, I guess you did, Dad. Just not anything that mattered. What do I need to do? Nothing. Nothing. A absolutely nothing. Just stop trying. That is the only way you'll stop making things worse. But I gotta do something. No, too late. Dad, just... too late.
So I take it we now know why Carrie Leach dropped off the map. Okay, yep, we're not gonna wallow in our own pity here. So, let's go. There's only one thing that can fix this. Breakfast for dinner. Let's go. Let's go, people. On the leg, get a move on. No, 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 no. This is diet suicide. <laughs> Look at this. I don't care. Can I have some of this? Syrup? <sighs> okay, young metabolisms. I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> More bacon, anyone? Evil. Mm. Better? I've never felt better or worse in my life. Yeah, I hope you don't want a brainstorming session right now, because I'm going to be in a glutton's hangover until tomorrow. I wasn't. <clears throat> More of a glad to be still alive session. It's the only place that's open this early. Early enough for my mom to take me before her ships. It's the only place we ever ate out, so... It's a special place. Claire. We need to do the Christmas concert. <laughs> Interesting fantasy. I'm serious, we need to. Well, the necessity's not in question. Only the means. We'll think of something. That is not a plan. It's Christmas music, right? I mean, all that famous stuff is already public domain. We can make a program out of anything we want. Sure, but who's gonna arrange it? Uh, more importantly, who's gonna perform it? I don't know. We'll find people. And we're right back to, that is not a plan. This is TV, okay? And, and this is not crap TV either. This is PBS. That has to mean something. Yeah. Means we're broke. It means they'll know we're not solely about the money. Um, technically. We... Shut up, Declan. Okay. You know what? Fine. Fine. You want a plan? Here's the plan. I will find someone. You two can sit around in a sugar coma for all I care, but I am betting my entire salary, which is really not that much, but I am betting my entire salary that there is at least one one really awesome musician out there who would cross oceans to get on PBS. Mm-hmm. For PBS! She's got a lot of energy today. No more coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, wait, what was that? Okay, Mr. Auber General Music Director. <laughs> My name is June Schroeder, and I am a television producer at KPRP Public Television, and we would like to put your choir on TV. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Hi, how are you? We hear you lead the best orchestra in... Oh, no, no, ma'am, I'm not selling insurance. <laughs> I'm with PBS. PS5? No, not PS5. PBS. <laughs> I can't get you a PS5. Sorry. Please, sir, I, I have no control over when they play the Louis Valois Orchestra, and, and I really don't care. Uh, no, sir, I have no idea what he's like off the air. Mm -mm. Ma'am, I, I really don't have a PS5. So I'm really sorry about that, but what I wanted to talk to you about is... No, no, I am not hoarding them to scalp on eBay. Why would I do that? I have no idea what he was like in music school. Nope. 
No, uh-uh. Ma'am, <laughs> please. I am a television producer. <laughs> My buddy cannot get you a PS5 because I don't have a buddy with a PS5. You want to know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You and me, you and me, Arbor General Music Director, we are gonna take Louis Valois down. You are right. I have PS5s. I have so many PS5s. I have despised him too. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, with his waltzes and his fiddles and his, his um, mincing harps. It just started with a few, you know, and then I just, I just couldn't stop. Boxes and truckloads, and warehouses, filling up my garage, the attic, the basement. At last, I know how to make him pay. And only your talent can do it. <laughs> I don't even know if my pets are still alive in there. take that many, many PS5s? Or are you sure you can't take more? Please take more! <gasps> Thank you. Yes! We can rule together! <sighs> Hi! Hi. Uh, how's it going? Oh, perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. <laughs> we have all the music you could ever want. We just have to find 500 PS5s and Louis Vuitt's violin on a pike. How about you? Uh, great. It looks like we might have a venue. It's not a definite yes, but something other than a no. Okay, well, let's go! Let's go! Come okay. on! Move, move, move! Oh, wait, I'm out of coffee. Uh, you probably don't need more. It's okay. Oh. My. It's perfect. It's perfect. Wow, this has always been here? Why have you never used it before? Hey, I wasn't here before. Plus, I think that they tried to, but they could never get a deal done for it. Oh my goodness, would you just listen to those acoustics? Hello world, here we are. Can you imagine what the choir is gonna sound like under that? In the orchestra? Uh, June. We could I... not do better than this, you hear me? We could not do better. Well. If you can't do better, you have a good reason for meeting our price. So I'm sure you're aware, we're not a very large station. You're a station who's had a half a century to build an endowment. Oh, yes, well, you know how that goes. Keeps you in business, but you can't go on any shopping sprees with it. Do you have any idea what the wedding demand is for a place like this? Sure, it's a wonderful place. Do you have any idea what people pay for those sorts of things? And I'm sure a little classy TV exposure would be just the thing. Miss Schroeder, this building is a century old and is visible from virtually everywhere in the city. Exactly what makes you think exposure is anything we need? We've had our struggles, and I'm sure you have too. We really feel that this could be an excellent collaboration. Schroeder, so far you have failed to present any scenario that does not represent a certain short-term cost to this church in exchange for dubious and highly uncertain long-term gains. So, unless you are prepared to meet our standard rate for an outside event, I suggest your time would be better employed elsewhere. I don't suppose there's anything else that could possibly change your mind? Unless you intend to march Carrie Leach through a door. I'm afraid you're out of options. Carrie Leach? Child, don't pretend to have any idea who that is. It's before your time. You mean our Carrie Leach? What do you mean? 
our Carrie Leech. You first. Show me your Carrie Leech. I am not accustomed to taking demands. Get used to it. Show me. And the murderer is one of you. I say. Oh, it's all quite simple, really. Now, your late father was left-handed, was he not, Miss Fairfax? Huh? Huh? Knowing that, then, perhaps you can explain to me how he could possibly have heard the huntsman's call, Lord Shepperton. What's this about Carrie Leach? He will be hosting the special. From here? Mm-hmm, that's right. He'll be announcing every song, telling stories from set, meeting new fans, and so help me, that man signs everything I put in front of him. But, as for the from here part, well, that's not really up to me now, is it? I cannot believe that you just lied in a church. I mean, in a church, June. It's not a lie yet, okay? Not if we can get Carrie Leach back. June, he's bunkered somewhere. I mean, off the grid for all we know. He's probably got a thousand acre estate somewhere in Sun Valley that we'll never be able to find. Well, what addresses do we have for him? None. All correspondence goes through his lawyer. All right, well, what's his address? His lawyer works out of an apartment? I guess I always kind of assumed he had a better lawyer than this. What do you want now? Oh. Hey! Leech! Come on, open up! What is going on? Get on in here. Right. First thing I want to know is, how did you find me? For years, I have battled to preserve my anonymity. Yet somehow, you have penetrated the wiliest of defenses. So, lay out the trail. What gossamer thread of clues did you follow to get here? So I'm gonna go way out on a limb here and just assume that there was never any big check coming? Meh. Oh, don't get too sore. I always knew your fighting was fake. I just admired the performance. How did you even get here? I mean, the residuals from your show must be- Not so much anymore. But I like to think that what I had, I spent well. Okay. <laughs> well, um, anything to get on the air one last time? For some of us, there's only one place we're ever truly happy. I got nothing for you. Maybe you still do, actually. We're throwing a big Christmas concert, like the station used to do in the old days and we want you to host it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No negative, uh-uh. Nope. Nope, nope. Nine. Why not? 
You think I'm showing my face around that studio of yours while that psychopath is out there? <laughs> you only just caught me before I blew town. Find me some other PBS station that still fills time with the Woking Mysteries. This is to save the station. This could be big. Your big closing act. Oh, if that loon shows up, it'll be a closing act, all right. And I don't intend to star in it. We'll get the police on it. Have you never seen a single episode of my series? The bobbies are useless. How did he hear the huntsman's call? What's that? How did he hear the huntsman's call? I remember that one. Come on. How did he hear the huntsman's call? <sighs> How? Hmm. I'll tell you how. Twas the Moors who done it. I, the Moors, the misty Moors, where screams are swallowed and murder rings clear. Twas there you set the trap. Give him a nudge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you laid it. You laid the trap and waited, knowing full well he'd be done in for sure by that gouty foot of his. And once he was, you'd lay your hands on the greatest treasure in Lower Shropshire, his mighty collection of taxidermed hamster. Who wrote this crap? Shh, give him a nudge. Confess, sir. Confess and the magistrate may go easy on you. Confess and spare the blighty wretch who now answers for your crimes on the gallows. Are we seriously airing this? Confess! Reverend, he's getting away! Oh, who's this now? Uh, uh, the accomplice! The accomplice? Aye, the accomplice! So, whom would you say is calling? I don't believe we've met. Hi. I am the John Schroeder who just might be a worthwhile human being. Really? Stranger things have happened. My wildest fantasies don't get that wild. What are you here for? Because you're sure not buying anything. I could buy you dinner. And just what do you think you're buying along with that? Conversation. Company. Come on. It's been a long time since I've had anything other than a business dinner. A very long time. You think I trust you? The only thing you need to trust is that I won't run out on the check. And I am a good tipper. Come on. I've been hanging around here long enough to know it's just you and the younglings running the place. And before them, mostly you. Come on. Your good deeds have been punished long enough. Let's go get us something good. The accomplice! Aye, you, sir. It was always you, you and your red right hand. Aye, you thought you had it, did you? Thought you free and clear of that trail of clues from here to Aberdeen. <laughs> nay, sir, nay. And again, I say nay. Oh. Justice is visited upon you, sir. Justice in the sight of the parish constabulary and the Anglican parsonage. Now, open the gates and move aside. Move aside! What a scene, what a scene. Uh, let's do another take. Okay, as much as I'd love to see that again, we have bigger scenes to get done. Right, right. What's next on the day out of days? Um, you have to go see a nun. Uh-huh. No, Bishop, I had not heard about the buses coming in from the convent. Um, we, we never dreamed that Mr. Leach's presence would cause this kind of disruption. <laughs> so, yes. 
yes, naturally, we will have crowd control in place. Don't you worry. We are very aware of how rowdy nuns can be. Mm-hmm. 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 We will get you his autograph most discreetly. Goodbye. Okay, crowd control. Exclamation point. The concert's tomorrow, and you're just sitting there? What else is there to do? I don't know. Something. There's always something. Something to get ahead of, a problem to fix, something that could go better. You never did AP classes, did you? Can we not have that discussion again, please? <laughs> well, there's something that they tell you when you take AP classes. Before the big test, never cram. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, those tests are pretty big, so if you didn't know the material the night before, one long night of cramming wouldn't help one bit. And you, June, just put together one heck of a project. A really big one. Okay, so if you didn't cram before the big test, then what'd you do? Put it out of your mind. Let it go for one night. <laughs> go out somewhere. Go out, like, like where? You might need some warmer clothes. So there's a human being under that awful mustache. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> it doesn't bother you? I mean, there he is, being all friendly with her. Doesn't seem he was ever really that friendly with you. If he wants to be friendly with her, he can go for it. I, on the other hand, am nowhere near ready to be friendly with him yet. Is it too much to hope that maybe she's just leading him on? You know, get a big pledge out of them. You've been working for Carrie Leach too long. <laughs> Camera's on, check signed, easy peasy. Well, not my dad. He always gets something for his money. Well, that was the outsider they were in. Definitely not fast food. For a nice evening, he'd call that a good price. Has he ever paid for something and not gotten it? Like, ever? Mm, he paid three million dollars for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you heard that right. Three million dollars to avoid joint custody. What in the world did he not get from that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> All I've ever brought him is disappointment. Distraction, annoyance, the list goes on. Well, he's a fool. You hear me? Yeah, he got the bargain of a century, okay? Three million dollars for another 10 years with you? Gosh, I would've paid so much more than that. <laughs> Shut up. I mean it. I've watched you, and you are amazing. 
simply amazing. Just stop. What? Hasn't anyone ever told you that? Anyone at all? Because, got news for you. It's true. I would have paid that much for 10 more days with you. 10 minutes. Literally any time at all. <laughs> I'd take that deal. Okay, uh, it's getting really late. Uh, we, we gotta go. Uh, go where? Okay, final exams tomorrow, remember? Uh, we gotta, gotta get lots of rest. Come on. Let's go, here we go. Oh, Let's I'm go. coming, okay. Auber General Music Director, not Conductor, Director. Yes, we have to get it right. June, first violin says that the sanctuary is three degrees too cold. Tell him we're heating it up. Can't heat a building this big that fast. So just tell him that, and by the time he thinks of it again, he'll have adjusted. What? No, nuns do not get priority seating. Hey, hey, red lights on the woodwinds, not purple. It's Christmas, remember? I do not care how scary they are. Nuns do not get priority seating. Just bring him around during intermission. We'll do an extra meet and greet. Trust me, he'll agree to it. Circuit panel. Jeez, Claire. What now? Well, the church caretaker is a little concerned about everything we're plugging into his circuit panels. For the last time, we have run the numbers. Everything is fine, as long as nobody plugs in anything else. Caretaker says those cords are running pretty warm. Call it free heating. <laughs> what is all this? This? Oh. Fan mail from nuns. Claire! <laughs> oh. oh, is that more for me to sign? No, not now. We're on in three. Declan, camera three is getting the close-ups, not two. Come on, get them sorted. Oh, I can't wait till this is over. Well, June, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Probably having a nice, quiet night before Christmas Eve. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Ah, huh. uh, I know, I, I can see you're stressed out, but June, do you really think you'd be happy if somehow you were being prevented from doing this? If you never even had the choice, you'd be miserable, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You'd be miserable if you never even had the chance. <laughs> We're on in two. We gotta go. Also, you're doing a meet and greet during intermission. Meet and greet? That means pictures. I bet Come on. Just come on, come on. June, where's our star? Uh, he's right behind me. He's right behind me. Carrie! Coming, coming. I just had to make sure that... No more taking care of. On your mark. First I position. didn't know there was a meet and greet. I had to make sure that my phone was ready. On your mark. <sighs> okay, quiet, everyone. Hold for countdown. Everybody good? Okay. Live on air in 10. What? No, it's fine. Nine. <laughs> no, no, everything's calibrated. It's fine. Eight. Electrical meter? What electrical meter? Seven. No, there's, it's not possible. There's nothing else on that circuit. Six. I, I said there's nothing else on that circuit. Check all the circuits. Ch check all the circuits now! Anyone? Anyone at all? Anyone? Anyone at- Oh! You just had to plug in your phone. Oh my gosh. Is it okay? I have so many pictures on that. Um. 
I guess it's not that important. Reset for take two? There is no take two. Oh. Um. So, anything I can do? Kids. <clears throat> I don't want this to be the last thing the station ever does, can't we? Live on air in three, two. Ah. Hello, friends of KPRP. I'm afraid I bring news of disappointment tonight. Our Christmas concert cannot go on as scheduled and planned. We're very sorry to have let you down. Um, since there won't be a broadcast, there won't be any pledge drive either. Anyone who wants to contribute can do so on our website. But we expect that this will be KPRP's last broadcast. We want to thank you for supporting us for 47 years. For half a century, we have brought you our best. And I guess we all knew it couldn't last forever. So I'm Carrie Leach. On behalf of everyone here from KPRP, signing off. It has been our privilege. Lo, how a rose air blooming from tender stem hath sprung. Of Jesse's lineage coming As men of old have sung It came a flower bright Amid the cold June? Hey, Dad. What is it? It must be almost midnight. This won't take long. You've won. Have what? You've won. You were right. So just do what you do best. Sign a check. I'll be at a desk working for you by morning. What are you talking about? KPRP. They're still taking pledges. So? 
So make one and I'm yours again. Just make it a big one. You want me to what now? Go to the website, make a pledge, just get it done already. But, but you... But what? You have trouble taking yes for an answer now? But... Oh, spit it out, what's the problem? But I don't think that's really what you want. Don't even try to tell me what I want. You've never had a clue what I want, so there's no reason to think you can start now. You care about what I want? Then listen to me. I just told you. Uh, yeah, get the accountants to do that. First thing tomorrow. I'll be in. First thing tomorrow. Merry Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Merry Christmas. You didn't. That's a heck of a way to say thank you. June, I didn't want this. I don't recall asking you. Look, we, we can figure something else out. Declan, we're out of time. Out of luck and out of favors. At least now I don't have to find 500 PS5s. <laughs> what is it you've been telling me this whole time, then? You've been acting like this is a fate worse than death. But whenever things get hard, you just pull the ripcord on the golden parachute, huh? You know what? Sure. Go ahead and think that. Talk yourself into it. We're so clever. We can have it all. What was this to you, huh? What was this job to you? Just another plaything? Just another toy plane that happens to be someone else's grade? Do not go there. We're not playing anymore. This wasn't just a show. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Look, if you have faith in the team, then you stick with the team. So do you believe in this or not? Teclin, grow up. I grew up when I was four, June. I had to. Yeah? Well, I wasn't far behind. June, you stick with us. Please, come on. We can do this. You don't have a clue. So, you gonna clean out your office or should I? You won't find anything worth coming back for. Anything you need to know about? Yeah. We'll be shutting down the servers ourselves tonight. I never did do much with the IT people. I don't even know where to start. It's okay. Order of operations. Um, first, we're gonna start with the graphic station, that is overlays and lower thirds. And then we're gonna move on to the secondary stations. What's with this one? Uh, that's for the website. It looks like it might be overloaded. Overloaded? As in, too many people are trying to access it? Yeah, but it, it'll redirect to a different server. It's okay. 
Why is everybody and their cousin logging onto us right now? Isn't this how we get pledges now? Through the website? Welcome back, sweetie. Yes? Geez, where you been? Landing no phones? Is that your plane? Yeah. Yeah, that's my first one. The hobby shop gouged me pretty good, day before Christmas and all. You should not be buying things like that. My dad isn't gonna give one dollar more than he absolutely has to. <laughs> we don't need it. We are not taking his money. What do you mean? Pledges, June. We got pledges. Thousands and thousands of pledges. So many, we don't even know how many there are. It'll take us that long to get them off the backup servers. But the concert was a bust. And they came through anyway. You hear me, June Schroeder? We asked and they gave. The whole city wants us to stick around. And all because one clever girl said, let's not pack it in. Let's go up to the bell tower and let's at least have the decency to say goodbye. Uh, Declan, have you ever flown one of these before? What's up? Because if not, you probably don't know how to handle updraft between city buildings. Honestly, I'm just surprised I got this off the ground without getting arrested. Okay, well, you should probably land it quickly. <laughs> Declan? Declan, go starboard! Starboard? D D go starboard right now! Because I, I, I don't really know how to- Pull up! Pull up before you- Let's go on, Declan. It's your dad's building anyway. What are you not telling me? No joke. Now, darling, let me pitch you this. 
Reverend Woking in America. We are miles from making any of those decisions. Gotta get them in quick, right? So what happens is, Woking is called out of retirement to chase down the dastardly flower pot killer. He kills entirely with flower pots. <clears throat> hmm. Producers, I've just had the most wonderful idea for a revival. How about ideas for rebuilding the studio? That's what we're supposed to be working on, right? <sighs> Projects like this, you gotta get a good lead time. Uh -huh. And how about the lead time on those contractors? I mean, you're perfect for that. You're a star. Uh -huh. You can market, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Funny thing, nobody bothered to clean out your desk. Wow. <laughs> Someone's getting in the spirit. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Claire insisted on the hat. Uh, what do you think? Oh, never look better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, for putting this on last minute, it is not a bad Christmas party. Well, it's better than not bad. It's better than great. It's amazing. And you need to learn to take some credit because you're the one who put this whole thing together. We have a lot of work to do, don't we? Yeah, but forget about that. For now, it's Merry Christmas, darling. Let's fly. <laughs>